Dear classmates, welcome back to the DFT part 1 chapter. In this video, we are going to introduce the third internal scan technique for latch based design. The famous LSSD was invented by IBM in 1977. The full name of LSSD is level sensitive scan design. It is called level sensitive because latch based design is sensitive to the level of the clock signal. This is different from free flop, which is sensitive to the age of clock. The LSSD technique was invented by Dr. Einschenberger in 1977. This is probably the most famous DFT technique for ledge based design. In this schematic, we show an LSSD scan ledge which was called Shift Register Ledge or SRL. The SRL is a master slave ledge. In the level 1 master ledge, it is a two port ledge which has a data input and a scan input. The master ledge is controlled by the C clock and the A clock. The level 2 slave ledge is a one port ledge which has one input port and it is controlled by the B clock. The output of level 2 ledge is plus L2. This slide shows the normal operation mode of the SRL. In normal operation mode, when we pause a C clock, the data from D input is captured in the master latch. When we pause a B clock, the data is then transferred to the slave latch and the data is coming out from the output plus L2. This slide shows a double ledge based design before DFT insertion. In this design, we have three pairs of master slave latch. Each pair of ledge store one bit of data. In normal operation, when we clock C clock, when C clock is high, the data from the combinational logic is stored in the master ledge L1. When we clock the B clock, that is when clock B is high, the data is transferred from the master ledge to the slave ledge and also apply to the combinational logic. Please note that clock B and the clock C are non-overlapping. That means when clock C is on, clock B must be off. When clock B is on, clock C must be off. So they are number one at the same time. What is the reason for this non-overlapping clocking? We can see more clearly from this figure. This figure shows the same ledge base design from another point of view. In this figure, we have two ledges 
per stage. When we clock C, the data is transferred from the combinational logic to the master ledge L1. When we clock B, data is transferred from master ledge to slave ledge L2, also applied to the second stage of combinational logic. Because clock B and the clock C are non-overlapping, we can easily avoid the clock skew problem. As soon as clock B and the clock C are very far apart from each other. So the ledge based design is a very safe design style. Now, when we want to shift in our test data in shift mode, we can apply clock A. When we apply clock A, the scan in data is captured from the scan input I to the master ledge. When we clock B, the data is then transferred from the master ledge to the slave ledge L2 and also to the output plus L2. This slide shows the same double ledge base design after LSSD insertion. In this figure, please note that we replaced L1 master ledge by a two pore ledge, which has one additional scan input. And also this circuit has one additional scan output. We insert a scan chain that connects these three latches in serial. We also add clock A into this circuit. In test mode operation, suppose we want to apply one pattern test to this circuit. First, we clock a, B to shift in the first bit of data followed by clock A and clock B for the second bit and then clock A and the clock B for the third bit. So after that, three bits of test data has been shifted in. Now we capture the test response from the logic by posing one clock C. After that, the test response are now stored in the master ledge. And then we shift out the contents in the master ledge by pulsing a clock B A B A and then B to shift out the content in the master ledge so that we can observe the values at the scan output. In summary, we have introduced three different internal scan techniques. The LSSD is the most popular DFT for ledge-based design. The advantage of LSSD is that it has no clock skew and it is a very safe design style. We also introduced Max D scan technique, which is very popular for free flop based design. However, 
it has speed degradation problem because of one extra max delay which is about 2 gate delay max d scan dft style is widely adopted by most asic ic design that is application specific ic design in those designs speed is not a big problem we also introduced the clock scan which has very little speed degradation however the clock scan requires extra clock routing for the SCK clock the clock scan DFT is widely adopted by advanced designs which are timing critical before we end this video we have one FFT for you in our previous slide we already showed the way to apply one pattern test for LSSD so how can we apply two pattern tests for this circuit with LSSD please draw the waveform of clock C A and B to answer this FFT thank you for watching this video